Hey guys, I'm Tyler Shaw, and this is Theo, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I am here with Tyler Shaw at the Tot the Cat Cafe here mm -hmm. in Toronto. <laughs> I hope you're a cat person, Tyler. I, I enjoy cat's company, for sure. How are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm good, thanks for awesome. taking the time to have a chat. Of course, my pleasure. So your debut record yesterday dropped last year, and it you did. released your Wicked Tune Wicked, and yeah. <laughs> the video is really cool. Can you kind of just tell me about this new seductive film clip you've Yeah, dropped? totally. Um, so it was me and my manager and the director who kind of came up with the concept, um, and we definitely wanted to depart uh, from what we were doing beforehand. It was just like kind of love story, but we kind of wanted to show a bit of an edge of, uh, of my side. Um, I'm definitely older and more mature. At least I'd like to think so. Um, so that's what we kind of portrayed in the film. I always imagine those behind the scenes, you know, when you're filming a more yeah. like, sexy video are kind of goofy, right? Yeah. Before you have to get into character. No, for sure. Kind of take sure. us behind the scenes. What um, was it like doing that? It was a lot of fun. Like when we had to be, you know, the, the serious, mysterious kind of characters we were playing. We were, but then as soon as it cut, we were like just like joking around and laughing and being, oh, is that okay? Like kind of thing. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. And you kind of want to dive into acting a little bit more. So when you prep for a character, totally. do you have anything you do beforehand to get ready? I'm so new at that acting thing, but uh, I actually just filmed my first lead role, um, a feature film that's going to be hopefully in TIFF and uh, Sundance. Congrats. So thank you. I did that about a month ago, and that was really fun. I was playing this character as like a theric therapeutic clown for kids so the film's called the meaning of life so if you hear about it go check it out um but yeah it was, it was really really fun really interesting yeah awesome yeah. well on the music front for you what's next is there an ep a new single a record uh, i'm in writing mode right now okay. but what we got going on is we're going on tour um selena gomez. with selena gomez and that starts uh may 14th in vancouver my hometown so that's going to be a huge show for me uh, I'm really excited about it and really excited about the opportunities that are going to come from that. I know you were a Selena Gomez fan before even getting the call. Yeah. So what was it like when you were notified, hey, you want to do this? I was totally like over the moon about <laughs> it, like fist pumping and just like cheering and loud. It was, it was really cool. The covers are a big part of your career and kind of how things started for you. Totally. Do you remember the first song you ever put your spin on? Um, I don't know. I think it was probably the covers competition. Um, or no, it was, what was it? Um... Shoot, what was it? It was a Paula Abdul song. Straight up. Straight oh, up, now tell me, do you really want to? Yeah, that was the song <laughs> that I, that was like my favorite cover. I was like, oh, this is cool. It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun, that one. Nice. If you could have any artist put their spin on one of your tracks, which artist would you love to see? I would be super interested in seeing Brian Adams do something. Or maybe, you know what would be really cool, actually, is if the Gorillas did like a cover. That'd be really weird. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I was kind of poking around on your Twitter feed and just seeing what fans have been sending you, and there's an overwhelming amount of tweets of people saying that you <laughs> resemble Taylor Lautner. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> I, was, I found it hilarious. It's, I'm like, yeah, it's not the first time, too. I've been getting it for forever, actually, so, but uh, I'm, I'm whatever about it. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's great to see that there's, you know, so many positive things tweeted your way. But, of course, the opposite side of that, there are always going to be trolls on the internet. Yeah. What are some funny or bizarre comments you've received from people? Oh, <laughs> just recently, actually, there's been this one girl who who's actually pretty mean. Um, she's like, <laughs> go kill yourself and, Aww. like, you bag of dicks and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but maybe you can bleep it's that YouTube, out. Okay. <laughs> um, so, like, they're just, like, you guys are pretty ruthless. But I'm, like hate is gonna hate you know what i mean like it's whatever like they go do their thing i'm still gonna do mine whether yeah. you call me a piece of shit or not so yeah <laughs> and you call your fans titans yes so yes. when it comes to meeting these people i'm sure you'll be meeting a lot more on this gomez totally. tour yeah. but in the past when you reflect what's some cool moments or the fondest memories you have with them um i've actually seen people with uh tattooed uh lyrics of mine wow. on their skin which is really uh it hits home for me it's just like uh really cool to see how they've reacted to my music and how they feel when they hear a song of mine and it's it's really it makes my job like feel a lot more it's better it's just satisfying. because exactly it's super satisfying to see that response come back so yeah i just want to do a little quick fire round with you okay cool. all right so yes. the last photograph that you took on your phone um i think it was the i instagrammed it it was uh, i was sitting out on a patio the other day and it was the CN Tower, and I was sitting on a patio on a, on a bar at Queen Street, 
and it was like perfect. Like you can see, I was sitting right here, you can see the CN Tower and everything. It's just like perfect lined. Yeah. Weirdest thing you've ever eaten. Weirdest thing I've ever eaten? Yeah. Shark fin soup. Shark fin soup. Mm-hmm. In okay. Hong Kong, yeah. Was it good? Yes, but then I remember I watched the documentary uh, Blue or something like that, and it showed how they made shark fin yeah. soup. So when I realized what I was eating, I was like, I can't, so <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. A place you'd love to play that you've yet to. Like a venue? Yeah. Uh, or, a, or a city. Oh, a city? Um, well, a venue, I'd love to play Madison Square Garden in New York. That's that's a huge dream. Um, city, though? I don't know. Like, take me to Madagascar. Let's go somewhere crazy. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And a must-have on your tour rider. A must-have on my tour ra- rider. Um, lemon juice. Lemon juice? Yeah. Get, like. To get the chords going? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Let's well, wrap everything up today. Is there, I like that there's been a, a catchy on my... <laughs> oh, my, like, yeah, the right, that's true. <laughs> Let's wrap everything up today. Is there anything you want to say to the Titans who will be um, watching? Titans, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support, and uh, hope to see you on the road soon. Awesome. Where's this cat? I know, now? where's this cat? Come here. Come back up. Come here. Come here. There oh, go. there we go. There Finish is. and start with you, buddy. <laughs> thank you so much for your time today, no Tyler. No worries, thank you. It's my pleasure. And remember <laughs> to everybody viewing, you can visit us on amusicblogger.com for all of interviews, <laughs> interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time. Bye.